Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood angry guy here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clickable thumbnail for your YouTube videos in Canva. So for those of you that don't know of Canva, Canva is a graphics design online studio where you can go and you can pretty much develop graphics for almost anything. We're talking posters, YouTube channel art, thumbnails, eBooks, and so much more. So what you're seeing right now is the Canva page that I'm logged into. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go up to the search bar and type in YouTube, and I'm gonna select YouTube thumbnail, all right? And it automatically sets the right dimensions for me. And it's pretty much loaded now. As you can see on the right of the page, you actually have a bunch of pictures that you can choose from in templates, okay? So these are pre-made templates that you can actually use. You can choose any one of these, and then you can basically change out the text and the photo yourself. But what I'm gonna be doing in this, in this one, in this little tutorial, is actually showing you how to make your own right off the bat. So we're gonna go over to Photos, and we're going to click on photos and it's gonna show you the pictures that are free and also pictures that are paid. So pictures that are paid, you have to pay to use them. Pictures that are free, you they say free and you can use them as you want. So I'm gonna find a picture that's appropriate for this video. This video is how to make clickable thumbnails for YouTube videos. So <laughs> there's a number of things I can do. One, I could try searching for the word YouTube and seeing if anything comes up. So I just put that in. And what I got so far was a couple pictures. So here we have some that are premium and some that are free. Okay, cool. So let's see, which one of these do I want? Well, if I want to use premium, then I have to sign up for Canvas service, and, but I'm just gonna use one that's free. And again, Canva is completely free, but if you want additional features like, like premium photos that are just for paid members, then you can do that. In this case, I'm just going to use this image. This one right here of the guy holding his cell phone is pretty simple. I'm gonna click on it and it'll automatically jump over into the page and then I could size it up myself. Another trick, that I've used in the past, however, is to drag it. And when you drag it, you can it automatically sizes. Okay, so if you want it to if you want it to automatically size, then you can just drag it and drop it and it'll automatically size. If you want to size it yourself, then click on it and then you can size it yourself. So this is my image right here. And now as you can see it's already been formatted for me. So I don't have to do any of that other formatting. It's already the right size, and now I can start doing things like adding shapes and my logo and my text. So when creating a clickable thumbnail, you want to, one, remember to use a title that people can see and that people will, people will want to click on. So you have to decide what you want there, all right? So for this video, I'm going to use the title Making Clickable thumbnails. That's it. All right. I want to make that big and broad so that you guys can see it. Before I do that, however, I'm going to go ahead and add my logo, but I want it to be as discreet as possible. So I'm going to click on elements. When I click on elements, I'm going to go down to shapes and I'm going to choose a shape. I'm going to choose, <laughs> I'm going to choose, I think this was like an acute angle. Okay. And I'm going to resize this, but before I do that, I'm going to make it black. So I, I click on the color right there once it's selected, click on black, click on it again to close it, and I'm going to make it smaller. And what I wanna do is I actually want to put it into this corner right here, okay? I'll put it in that corner, and to do so, there's a couple different ways I can do it, but I can also just rotate it myself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rotate this guy myself. So I go to the edge and I can now begin rotating, 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 rotating. All right. And I've more or less rotated it. Okay. And now I go and I fit it into the corner. 
And wow, look at that. It fit in perfectly. So now I want to add my logo, okay? And again, you can do this however you want, but I'm just showing you how I design my stuff. So now I have a picture of my personal logo and I'm just going to click on it and it appears on the screen. I'm gonna resize it by just clicking on the edge and dragging it down to a size that will fit in that area. I'll click on it and then move it over and voila. So now my logo is on the side. It's very discreet and I just branded my video. Now I can start working on adding my text. Now the thing is, I want my text to be very visible. If I put, let's say, white text on this background, it's going to be harder to read because this is already a light background. What can I do so that it stands out, but at the same time I can use white text? Well, first, <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna head back over to elements and I'm going to click on the, I'm gonna click on the square. And I'm gonna turn a square, we go into a rectangle and I'm gonna make that black. So I click on the color up there. And then I'll, I'm also gonna go ahead and change the transparency. I'm gonna re reduce the transparency down to like 55 or so. I think 59 actually looks pretty good right there. All right. And this basically gives it a nicer look. So you can see through that you can see through it, but at the same time you can place text that will be visible on it. All right? And if I want to make copies of this, I can just click copy at the top while selected. It'll make another one. If I want to make three different copies, click it again. And now I have three copies of this. Okay? Now, let's talk about adding text, okay? So we're gonna call this making clickable thumbnails. So I'm gonna go over to my text and I'm gonna click on that and then you're gonna see all these different formats. What I actually use is one of these. We have heading text, subheading text, and body text. So I'm gonna use heading text and I can resize this and change the fonts for all of them, okay? So I just selected heading text. All right, and I'm going to take my heading text and I'm going, to I'm going to drag it over to where I want to place it. So first, let's click out on the body of it. And it can be a little annoying sometimes, but you'll get the hang of it. So here it is. And I'm going to move it over here. And I'm going to make my text white. And as you guys can see, I want you to see this. It's hard to read, all right, because the background is already pretty light. So you're like, well, how the heck can I do this? Well, that's the reason why we created those black backgrounds. But before we do that, we're, I want to change the I want to change the font. I found that League Gothic, okay, is actually a great font to use. And you just go to fonts, okay, at the top, and you select you type in the font that you want. And like I said, I'm selecting Lee Gothic. That's a font that's already installed and you can actually upload custom fonts, I believe. And now it's selected. Okay, cool. Now I wanna increase the size of the text. So let's try 104. I wonder if that's gonna work. Okay. And let's type this, making. We'll make that, uh, make that long. Make that capital, capitalized, clickable. Thumb. Nails. Ooh, I typed it without messing up. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna move this up a bit. All right, cool. And now what I wanna do is, I wanna make sure that these are not too big. So I can always resize them, okay? And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna put it there, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, okay? Again, and when I find that when you make them a little smaller, make them more fit, they fit better, the overall everything looks better, okay? So here we go. All right, and then we have the final one. And put it over here. And there we go, making clickable thumbnails. Okay, cool. And now, if, as you guys can see, it's very, very visible. 
what I've done is I've made something that is extremely visible, all right? And if I want to make, if I want to size this a little more, I can just pull the text away. I can actually bring down the size a bit more, bring the text back on top. And as you guys can see, it looks a bit better now, okay? And there is our thumbnail. And I just made that thumbnail myself. And this is actually the better kind of thumbnail. These are the best kinds of thumbnails to make because they are what we call clickable thumbnails. You have to think about what people are searching for. People are searching for making clickable thumbnails for their videos, right? So it's, I kept it simple. And this is now a very clickable title and a clickable thumbnail, okay? Because most people are using mobile right now when they're searching for your thumbnails. So they're going to be looking at the thumbnails and they need to be able to read the thumbnails. If they can read the thumbnail, they can click on the thumbnail. They're more likely to click on the thumbnail and boom. So clickable thumbnails, clickable titles. So there you have it. Now, what do we do to finish the process up? It's really easy. We go up to download, we click on download at the top. And then what I do is I always select JPG, which is a small file, small file size image. It says suggested PNG, but sometimes I find that when I try to upload PNG to YouTube, it says that the f image is too large. By selecting JPG, you still get a video, you still get an image that looks really good, okay? And at the same time, you know it's going to, you know that you're not going to have any problems uploading it. You shouldn't have any problems uploading it to your YouTube videos. So I like to make JPGs. And also another thing is you can change the name of the file that you're downloading here. So if you want to if you want to call the file, uh, you know, making clickable thumbnails, and I have caps lock on right now, you can do it like that, and then and then download it. There's a number of other options that you have, but again, that's what works for me. So that's the method that I use, and now I can go and open that up and use it as, as needed. So that's pretty much it. There's a link to Canva in the description of the video. If you have any questions about using this to make your own clickable thumbnails, let me know and I will do my best to answer your questions and I will see you in the next video. Love God, get money, and cheers.